everybody, it's Karen here from tabenscolor.co.uk and thank you very very much for joining me for this video which is part two of my Telford Stampin' Up! on stage uh, experience I suppose you could call it and part one uh, I talked about the, uh, the the day on stage and all the goodies I got there this is part two all of the swaps that I got in exchange for the, uh, the, the Swaptopus that I that I took up with me uh, and again long video alert uh, but I did get lots and lots of lovely goodies and uh, well, stay with me and see what my teammates put together so this is it this is my haul uh, these are the swaps I got in return for the swap to bus uh, so uh, I'm gonna start with this one because uh, this one I do know who it's from it's from uh, D D Copus Reed who was at the same table with me and uh, a very nice jar of jar tube of uh, moisturizing body uh, lotion and a sentiment and uh, this I, I like this very much it says some plasters to keep in your purse or wallet so thank you Dee very very useful and a nice little recipe telling me everything that she's that she's done well this is a nice touch please reuse the pot rather than throwing it away there are so many things you can use it for in your crafting area very very true Dee so uh, yeah I think I shall keep that to put little embellishments or something on at my table that way I wanted to do that one first because I wasn't sure how well it had traveled and again I'm not quite sure how well some of these have traveled so I'm hoping no bits have dropped off and that I'm going to be able to identify everybody so this one is a lovely pillow box and I think uh, it's in call me clover I think Ooh. Oh, I'm going to immediately have a use for these pots excuse me some lovely useful little bits and pieces so paper clips and a mini peg uh, a little balloon some little posty notes some more paper clips very very handy for holding boxes together and another balloon and the only thing I don't have is any information about who made it so uh, yes mystery pootler thank you very much uh, I'm not sure whether I said, but all of these are from uh, my teammates, okay? I didn't do any swapping on the main on-stage event because I made 50 uh, swaps for uh, for the following day. And I, <laughs> I've i got tendonitis in my uh, right shoulder at the moment. And after cranking uh, 50 swap buses with all their bits through the big shot, my shoulder was singing Hosanna. So again, who's this one from? So this is from Julie Addison at My Luna Crafts. Uh, and she, if you want to know how she made it, the details will be on her blog next week. So there you go, Julie Addison, mylunacrafts.com. So there's something in here. Ah, a Freddo. Two Freddos. Thank you, Julie. Those will be much enjoyed. Something about pootlers. We. <laughs> this is uh, this is from Helsey Helsey Slim, um, who we did have quite a funny event uh, with Helsey <laughs> because uh, on the Friday night, travelled up from South Wales on Friday. Again, more sweeties in there. Uh, travelled up from South Wales on the Friday night, and we met for uh, for a meal. Uh, by the time I got there, they'd had food. I, was, I just went for a drink. <laughs> so, uh, and, and Helsey said, uh, uh, said to me, uh, you know, did you fly down? I could have picked you up at the airport. And I realised that Helsey thought that I was one of Scottish demonstrators. This accent is Welsh. It's not Scottish. But I've decided that now I am an honorary Scot. And... Uh, Helsey, never going to live it down. <laughs> never going to live that one down, girl. But thank you. Thank you very much. And I shall enjoy the sweeties. Okay. So, what have we here? Sorry about the rustling. 
do, 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 and there's a sweetie inside. Thank you very much. And this is from Karen McDonald of Corrie Papercrafts. Thank you, Karen. And again, she's given me the, the little recipe. That's a very nice business card, Karen. 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 Carrie. Karen. Okay, so again, she's given me the, given me the, the, the recipe. And that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to... Um, you're supposed to include what you used to make the, uh, to make the uh, the event, and I think I've got two of them. How did that happen? So uh, yeah, if you were one short, <laughs> if somebody's going around saying I didn't I didn't get a swap from Karen, um, drop me a line because I've got two of them. So I've got two lots of uh, two lots of sweeties. So yeah, I thought they they looked very similar. I thought perhaps somebody's been copying each other's homework. Yeah, so as I was saying, the uh, the whole idea behind the swapping uh, is that you you're exchanging ideas. So you swap ideas for um, you know that you might use if you're a d demonstrator that does classes, for example. Then you might get an idea for your next class. Or if you're like me, uh, you don't really do much in the way of classes, but you like to give um, the people who shop with you a little gift. Um, you know something like uh, you know a post-it note holder or something like that then you get ideas for that so we've got some very glittery pencils and this is from Valerie Broomfield who is at Valerie's handmade gifts.co.uk so uh, uh, I wouldn't mind betting that uh, she might have blogged on how she made this and I think most of us do actually either blog or put a YouTube video up about how we make our uh, make our things, our our swapses. Okay, so this is a triangular shaped box, quite unusual. And how do I get into it? Ah, ooh, ooh, very generous. Who's is this from? Ooh, I like that. I, do you know what? I I like this kind of shape of pen. And I used to work in an office where I had. It was a very strange pen. It was like a Kelly doll, and it kind of sat upright on my desk. And nobody ever pinched that one, because people would come in, borrow a pen, pick it up and go, oh, I can't write with this thing. But I loved it. So this is from Yvonne Flitton. Thank you, Yvonne. That's very generous of you. And you can find Yvonne at craftingforeveryone.blogspot.com. Okay, so that's Yvonne. Thank you very, very much, Yvonne. I shall be... Do you know what? I'm going to take that into work, because nobody will be able to claim that it's their pen. That one is going to be exclusively mine. So that one's going to be on my desk in work. Because, uh, you know, I don't know about where you work, but my office, they're absolutely terrible. <laughs> you know, they steal your backside if you didn't sit on it sometimes. That's, that's not strictly true. It's because we all use the same stationery. And it's very easy to pick up a pen off from somebody's desk and then just walk away with it or post-it notes. They're the things that often go missing. Oh, lip balm. Again, very, very useful, not just for lips. Because if you've got um, a cling stamp that... Well, the cling stamps are great, but if you've got one of the older style um, clear block stamps that doesn't stick very well, a little bit of this on the back will sometimes encourage it to stay. So uh, that's going to be... It's going to be handy as well. Thank you very, very much. Now, who was that one from? Was there a name? Ah, there's a slip inside. Excellent. Ah, oh, Heather. Heather Vaughan. Now, Heather is Scottish. All right. Heather is proper Scottish. Uh, and you can find her at stampwithnelly.wordpress.com. Thank you, Heather. Yes. So this is from um, oh, this is from my table buddy Elizabeth. So on the second day, I'm sitting on the table with Elizabeth and Sarah and Andrea and uh, Julie Kindred and Elizabeth's mum. And Elizabeth's mum, it was the first time I think that she'd ever really done any crafting, and she was she was amazing. She was picking it up uh, like. One o'clock. She was she was really good, you know. She really did better than I did actually, because I wasn't paying attention. I was gassing or chopsing, as we say in this part of the world. Okay, so this is from Inky Butterfly, and I think that. And what have you given me, Inky Butterfly? 
It's a real treat being friends with you. Oh, my gosh, what a haul today. Uh, Aloe Vera Lip Therapy Vaseline. Again, very useful for waterproofing things. You see with me, everything's craft. Everything is crafty. Okay, so that's a lip balm again. Thank you. Excuse me, I'm just trying to read. Icky butterfly. Is it Pharisee? I can't remember. I'll look that one up. All right, I'll, I'll put a, a banner at the top. And this is from Samantha Thorpe. Let's see, we are a super big team. And there were some people who joined us and it was their first time at uh, something like this. Ooh, tea bag. Oh, me likey, like tea. See, that's a neat little project, isn't it? That's something that you could, you could quite easily do on a class. So Samantha Thorpe and Samantha is at CuriousMooseCrafts.com. So thank you, Samantha. Thank you, everybody. Just, I know how much time and effort goes into these because I did my own. So and. He is so pretty and the gingham paper and somebody like me who's using up their tranquil tide so this is easter greetings and who is this from this is from karen kilner now in this particular case it's a gift card but that could quite easily not a gift card it's a business card but it could quite easily be a gift card in that so that is a nice little idea and uh yeah, if you uh, if you want to find out how to do it, you can find Karen at www.kkcardcraft.net. Thank you, Karen. I shall put that neat and tidy at a later point. That's clever. I like that. Might have to case that. Might have to might have to work out how to do that one myself. It's always dangerous giving me swaps. Oh, I think that belonged to that, didn't it? Yes, it did. Put that out of the way over there. Okay, and this is from Christine Bettany. Another one of my former table mates. The last time I went, I think I shared a table with Christine. And um, I'm assuming that's chocolate or some kind of sweetie. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? She's used the... Uh, the country florals embossing folder which is going to be in the new catalogue just saying it's carrying over and so by the time you see this the uh, retiring list uh, will be out there and this is from karen varley and she personalized them and she's foiled it wow karen wow i'm impressed i'm seriously impressed because the paper you see has got a kind of pearl foil on it and again pencils always come in handy never got pencils they've always gone evil so uh, you can find all measurements at www.dunmarkpapercrafts.com so that thank you very much Karen okay, and I appreciate this this is a very long video today but I hope that you're having as much fun as I am finding out what's inside of all of these swaps because this it, it, it is it's like christmas it's one of the f most fun reasons for going so again that country florals embossing folder look and i think that's rich raspberry card tea bag yes we like tea we love our tea and this is from donna brown so thank you donna and you can find uh you can email donna i don't know whether she's got a website or anything like that um, and again the uh the teacups and the dies are going to be in the new catalogue. The uh, so the stamp set is carrying over, and the dies which were part of celebration are coming back, and you're going to be able to buy them. So if you miss them on celebration, uh, and you're kicking yourself, it's not too late. So who's this from? It's like Christmas morning. And this this video is 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 complete stream of consciousness. All right, this is literally me just opening them, 
and saying what comes into my head. So it could be dangerous. I could be taken off the air at any moment. Okay, so no name. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Tracy Faulkner. Thank you, Tracy. And again, a propelling pencil. So I shall be well trousered for, for pencils, propelling and otherwise. Okay, and this is from Lisa M. Emsley, Little Owls Crafts. And uh, I've got the pen again, propeller pencils, I think. It's a very fine lead, 0.7. And I use, do you know what, I, I can ne uh, uh, never find pencils. I'll never find a sharp one anyway. So, yes, so two lovely, and look, she's, she's matched them to the paper. That is brilliant, and Pootler's Rock. We do. We rock. We totally rock. Best best stamping up team in the world. Except the Penny Brights. It's my team. <laughs> Which is very select at the moment. Very sparse. So, uh, yes, I am recruiting. So, uh, if you're interested in joining me, uh, drop me an email. Get in touch with me on my Facebook page. Uh, if you want to join in the fun, be a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Ask me how. Ooh, and I think those are Shocky Eggs. And she's used the, the butterfly. The uh, the butterfly. Uh, the butterfly bouquet, it's called. It's the stamp, uh, the punch, anyway, which you can't get for love nor money at the moment because they came in and then they flew straight back out again. But there are more coming. Um, and I think we have got an awful lot of things caught up in customs. Uh, because they, uh, I think they uh, discovered that some of the labelling is out of compliance and they're therefore going through the customs authorities in uh, at Germany, I think they're coming into. They're going through them with uh, everything with a fine tooth comb and they're massive containers of, of goods, which is why we couldn't get our product purchase premiere. We're not bitter. Uh, we are slightly disappointed, but... You know, but we have been assured that um, it'll all be sorted out by the time the catalogue goes live. All right, so everything will be there because they're basically sending more over. Uh, so it will all be sorted. And if you're a demonstrator, we were assured that it will be sorted in time for our pre-order, which I think starts at the beginning of May. I think it's just the the, the early bird ones that were affected. Do, do. Oh, what next? What next? Let's clear away some of the, the debris. <laughs> so you can imagine what I was like as a child at Christmas morning, can't you? Disappeared in the colour wrapping paper. It was Boxing Day sometimes before my mother could find me. Uh, if Santa had been generous, of course. Right, so what have I here? Look at the lovely flowers. And this is from Karen Tilly. Uh, who you can find at tillycrafts.co.uk and she says all details on my blog next week so if you want to find out how to make these then hop on over to Karen's blog sometime next week so I've got ooh, more tea more tea and a biscuit and sugar to go with it now I happen to not take uh, milk or sugar in my tea so uh, I would be well trousered with that for a tea and a biscuit I think the I think the glue was given away there Karen so it hasn't travelled particularly well but again, so that's a lovely little idea a little gift for somebody um, that would be a nice little teacher gift or something like that or something that you could do um, in a class so yeah hop on over to Karen and find out how she put that together alright oh, so this is Oh, super pretty. And I, I, I know it's all been done with punches and I think one stamp. And look at that tiny, tiny bow. My gosh, who's done this? Uh, 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 created by Bex. Bex, you have got some patience, lovely girl. So I won't open that now. But that is so, so pretty. And it wouldn't be that long to do because you would just punch out the flowers, one one stamp, 
um, punch out all the circles which is in you know you, you, in that particular stamp set you get all of these flower heads and you get the punch that will make the little circles as well so you just punch out a load of those stick them on a card um, and you know away you go Robert is your father's brother as they say this is from Kay Miller I, Kay, I don't know whether that belongs to you or whether that's come adrift from somebody else's and if I'm showing somebody's uh, project with a with a missing ribbon I apologize I think it might be this one actually I think it is I think it belongs to that one so I'll put it over there I think I bet I could be guessing wrong so a uh, beautiful little covered notebook and this is from K and you can find K at uh, papercraftskies.co.uk calendar always useful and this is from Teresa O'Connell and Teresa's at wow crafting oh that's her email sorry uh, yeah she's only got her shop details on there I don't know whether she's got a blog but she has got Facebook www.facebook.com wowcrafting.stampnap.net so uh, you can find Teresa there I hope you're a Teresa and not a Teresa. I hope I haven't just mispronounced your name. But like, okay, so what have we got here? Oh, my wish list. Oh, now here's a clever idea. Um, let's put this together. Paper J Crafts. So I've only got the blog name, not the person's actual name. But Paper J Crafts. I've seen the catalogue, and I'm going to need about three of these. Okay, so can you send me them through the post? Thank you. It's a really clever idea, isn't it? And look at the way it closes. That is so clever because it just tucks behind there. And that's nice. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, oh, more chocolate. And a notebook. And this is from Violet Gibson. Um, so thank you very, very much, Violet. Again, Violet is another person who I have been uh, not exactly table buddies with, but table neighbours, shall we say, in the past. And uh, it, it's always nice because uh, we are a, a very active group. We, you know, we chat a lot on Facebook, and it's always very, very nice to actually meet people and put a face to the name. And sometimes people look exactly like you think they're going to, and sometimes it's a total surprise. Um, but Violet looks very much like her lovely picture on Facebook and she is a lovely, lovely lady and some more sweeties, I love hearts okay, so who's given me that one? I don't have a name I don't have a name uh, unless it's fallen off somewhere but, uh, yeah, and I remember talking to the lady who gave me this and saying how pretty that that bunny was and isn't he a bit Peter Rabbit don't you think very very Peter Rabbit that one just saying um, yep, so. Yep, so I got two of these because Jez came past Najeza uh, creates Jez Carpenter um, she came past as I was wandering around the room uh, you know swapping with other people and she left one on the table for me while I wasn't there um, and didn't realise that I'd already swapped with her so, <laughs> so I got two but you know what aren't they beautiful and all you need to do with that is stuff it in an envelope and um, people are going to think I am so creative you know <laughs> but of course Jez has got her name on the back and the copyright stamping up which uh, provided you put that on your creations that you make with Stampin' Up you can sell them that's Stampin' Up's angel policy is very very generous you can make as many as you like and sell them as long as you put that attribution there so cute little Easter bunny with a cute little cute little bunny face that's the um, that's the foxy friends stamp I think and a cute little cotton tail cotton wool tail and there's something in here more sweeties and hopefully so 
somebody something that will tell me who has made this so I can give them the credit for it. Linda Worth from lilocrafts.co.uk. Thank you, Linda. Thank you very, very much. I shall enjoy eating those eggs. I've got enough sweeties and uh, and chocolates and tea bags. So uh, yeah, I'm well trousered. Ah, now how lovely. quite sure what fragrance that is but it is perfumed I think. So this is from Kaz Shears of Storm Stamping and she says she cased it from from Poodles. We all case from Poodles. Kaz. All right. <laughs> it, it, it just is the way that it is. She's just so prolifically creative and we all borrow her ideas. I'm s I am I'm, go I'm not going to say I'm lucky because I chose to be part of this team. Uh, so I'm going to give myself credit for being ruddy clever. Ooh, bickies. Bickies, bickies, bickies. And that's from Tracy Walkton. And you can find her at winburywhispers at wordpress.com. And just look at that. It's just, you know, she's gone to all the trouble of creating the box. And it's, it's just really simple but really, really elegant is the word that I'm going to use. It's, it's, it's just beautiful. As I said, I am so fortunate to be part of such a creative team and such a supportive team because we're, we're all there for one another and I, I don't want to get sentimental and maudlin, but we really are. It's, they're like, you know, 300 friends, like 200 of them plus that I haven't met. So... I don't know who that's from. I didn't put your name. All right, if you're watching this, you know, if you're watching this and you're one of the people who, for some reason, your your details have got detached from your swap, do me a favour and let make yourself known below. I've got a feeling. Was this Andreas? Were these Andreas? They may be. They may not be. I'm not a hundred percent sure. If it was Andreas then uh, she was sitting at the table with me but they might be somebody else's so this is from Karen Liddell uh, Liz's Craft and it's a nice little envelope and something I think has fallen out of it possibly uh, so I'll have to have a rootle around in the bag um, was that in there? possibly might be like that. Not sure. But thank you, Karen. Thank you for swapping with me. Yeah, well that's e thanks everyone for swapping with me. So be strong, be happy, be you. It's a shame to open these. <laughs> it really is. But I'm suspecting that if there are edibles inside, then. Ooh, and there are edibles, thank you very much. Uh, then you don't want them to kind of go off, because that would be rude. So. This is Karen Taylor, who is at mordyspapercrafts.com. And thank you very much for the chocolates. I shall enjoy those. Although if I ate all of the chocolates that I've got here, I think I would be very, very sick. Oh, now then. I know this is from uh, this is from Heidi, and uh, yeah, I made one one of these for my very I think it was my very first or my second swaps. I made something similar to this, and uh, yeah, uh, again, it's an it's uh, it's an action. It's got an action to it, which I love, and it's got frankincense hydrating team. Do you think it would be any good on on my boon? Sorry, should I have warned you that I was going to show you the burn? Perhaps I, uh, perhaps I should have told you. But, uh, as you can see, it is, you know, it's healed, but it'll be, it'll be a while before the, uh, the scarring goes away, if it ever does. I may be scarred for life. So, uh, yeah, cookery is very dangerous. Wow! Sally! This is from Sally at Sally Stampers. 
I think I saw. Yep, Sally Stampers, so Sally Shaw. Wow, look at that. And sweeties. Gosh. Oh my gosh. That's so generous. Thank you very much. And I believe it was Sally who also dropped off a little um a little daisy charm on everybody's desk. Okay, so another little and this is from Kayla Love, who is at Kayla's Crafty Creations. Thank you, Kayla. Yeah, I think Kayla had to leave early because she was, um, she was, was she going back to Scotland? Catching a plane, I think. So she had to leave us before the very, very end. So, hey, sweeties. And you know what? This is a narrow escape because I nearly made one of these for my swaps. Uh, I was seriously considering making uh, making one of these, <laughs> so we would have been twins. Peppermint tea. Now I do like peppermint tea. So, okay, so shut this up now. Let's remember how to do it. So one down, one over, one over, and then the last one tucks in. And more sweeties. Okay. So this is from Catherine Quarter. <gasps> Thank you, Kath. I shall enjoy that. I shall. Again, another one with no name. And I actually spoke to this lady because I got two of these. Where's the other one? Where's the other one? And uh, it was... How can I describe it? It was a bit of a scrum because the room we were in was a little bit too small. Um, we had, I think it was three or four people who had mobility issues and really needed to be on the ground floor. And the room that they'd originally booked us in was on the third floor and that was uh, there was a lift but it was it was very small and um at, at least one of the team she's got you know she's got a really big electric wheelchair um and she just wouldn't have fitted in she really wouldn't have fitted in so we had to ask to be moved to uh, another room fortunately we found out the day before that the that the room wasn't going to be suitable um so the room that we were in was it was a little bit squashed to be honest with you so it was quite a bit of a scrum and anyway i'm rambling long story short uh so i i went out of the room for a little bit with my swaps to get some fresh air and the lady who made these was standing outside and she said would you like to swap and i said i've got one of yours and she said oh i have another one so i wound up with two all right so again very very pretty and i wish i could tell you who made them because then maybe you know we could go over to her website so uh, if you are seeing this please make yourself known and thank you very much and it won't it was a bit of a scrum in that room okay and last of all an easter egg in one of our little little boxes now if you see that's a bright idea isn't it that is somebody who's used their brains uh, who is that? Jill Chapman. Yes, I might have known. Very sensible lady who has thought, do you know what? I'm not going to sit down and make 50, <laughs> 50 swaps. I'm going to let Stampin' Up! do it for me. That is using your noggin and a nice little chocolate Easter egg to go in there as well. So I think that is the last one. So that is it for, uh, for today. Now, uh, this is going to be a very long video if I'd done it in one part so what I am going to do is I'm going to split it into two parts so this will be the end of part two thank you very much for joining me uh, I will be posting a crafting tutorial for my next post um, but that is it for today thank you very much for joining me and I hope you come back and see me again sometime soon bye bye <laughs>